Hi, Fist Buds. It's Kathy with Kathy's Garden. I love making everything that has to do with junk journals. If this is something you enjoy too, please subscribe. All right, guys, aren't these adorable? We're going to make these little clusters slash snippets. So let's get right to it. So what I started with was a strip. So I'm just using scratch pieces of paper. So I started with the strip and then I selected some pieces that uh, I have that go together. So I've got this one. It goes nicely with that. And this one, it also goes nicely. And I'm going to need some pieces of um, coffee dyed paper. So I'll get in my box and get me out some pieces that are big enough for me to use. This will be nice. I think that will be plenty. So let me put this back. All right. So I'm going to start by ripping, tearing, <laughs> some medium-sized pieces. Oh my goodness. There we go. So you can use up some of your pieces that you have that go together. We all have those pieces. There we go. Put it this way, put those up there. I hope everyone's having a wonderful evening. It's evening here. I just decided to to jump on and do a little video before my husband comes home and we have dinner. We're having chicken, mashed potatoes, some broccoli, and a salad for dinner tonight. All right. Okay. Let me put it this way. You can see that way much better. All right, so now we're going to need to ink it up, ink the pieces. So I'm using the Tim Holtz Gathered Twigs. I really like th that color. That's the bunch that goes there. There we go. It was a very nice day today, but it's going to rain tonight, they say. And then it's going to get cooler. And today, when I went out to take care of my chickens, I decided since it's going to get so much cooler, we've got a couple of days where it's not going to be super cool and then Christmas Eve it's going to be very cold and I have some chickens that um, are young I got them early this fall and now they're big enough to go in with the other chickens the older chickens and I decided that this was the best time I needed to just do it get them together because in the next few days, I won't be able to... We're going to ink this up now. I'm going to ink the pieces up and get them glued down. So I'm just inking a little bit. I'm not inking... I mean, inking. I say that all the time, don't I? I always call this glue stick inking. It's not inking. It's a glue stick. <laughs> okay, so we're just a little bit of glue on here. I'm not I'm not inking the uh, inking. I'm not gluing the whole piece. I don't know. Words. Sometimes they're hard for me. <laughs> anyway, back to the chickens. So 
I decided I was going to put them together today. It was late afternoon, it was starting to get dusk, and uh, they do better off if they're not wide awake when you do that. And I lay down some fresh hay for them and put some scratch down, so I kept them busy uh, checking out their new hay and their scratch, so they didn't really bother the, the new little chicks, chickens that came over to their side. Okay, after I glued them down, then I took it over to the sewing machine and I just put three rows of um, stitching. You can see it better here. I just like the way it looks and it really does keep the pieces of paper anchored to the strip. So I'll just take my little strings off. Huh, I could pick it up. My fingers aren't working right this second. There we go. Get them all picked up. So my chickens are doing very well together. I ended up with a couple of roosters I didn't need, but the older rooster, he told them who was boss, and then they said okay, and they stayed away from him. So it, it went well. It could have gone very ugly, but it did not go ugly. So this is net that has a design. I just love it. I think it's so attractive. So I'm going to cut just a strip of it. And then I'm going to cut little pieces. One, two. These might be too big. Let's see here. Oh, I think that's pretty. Those are very pretty. Alrighty, so I should keep it, keep it turned this way so you can see it better. So we're going to just put a little bit of glue down. It would work better if the glue was coming out. There we go. We'll put a little glue down and put this right on top like that. Go to the next one. These are very quick and easy to make and they're, they're so lovely on a journal page. And they're nice and flat and so they don't take up a lot of room. On my journals I like to have some kind of decoration on the page whether it's a stamp or cluster. I just I just like that. So I picked this on up on sale and they're um, what are they called? They're called spare parts. Tan petite daisies. And so I took these And I took them apart. So I took out the center, removed the center, and then I gently separated the two petals that are glued together, just like that. And I just need one more. These hard little centers. Taking the stamens out of the flower. There we go. There we are. So now we're going to separate these clusters. Yeah, I like how that looks. Yeah, that's pretty good. Off of there. There we go. Now to ink that up. I know that part isn't um, 
ripped, but it doesn't bother me. It's got the, the thread on it, the sewing part. It, to me, it, it looks just fine. It doesn't bother me at all. So then I'm going to place the flowers down. I like it that way better. Let's do it like that. Let's do it just like that. Alrighty. And so I got my words. I have them um, already cut and placed on some harder paper. And these words are the Tim Holtz Ideology Design Tape. And they're the bigger words down here. The travel, the wander. Whoops. So that's what I used for this. And I just did some in advance and I put them on my uh, paper. So they're just much easier to work with that way. And that way you can um, keep them. I just made this little uh, folder uh, envelope, decorated envelope I mean. And I just keep them in there and it's just very handy now. Very handy. So we have Together Dreams. Let's see what's in here. This one we have, push those out of the way. We have travel friendship. Friendship is nice. Let's do friendship. I like that. I'll just push those out of the way. I'll put them back in when I get finished. There we go. So, we need to uh, ink the words just a little bit, not a lot, just a little. There we go. Well, those are just turning out so cute, so cute. And we're going to use our glue again. We're going to glue down our flowers, just like that. more. Then we're going to glue down our words. Like I said, this goes very quickly and you can pick whatever uh, scraps that you have that you would like to use. And then we're going to put a little dot of glue on the strings and strings of glue. Is that enough? Can't tell now. Yeah, there we go. And then we're going to put, well, I have the glue going. We're going to put it right in front of the words because I'm going to add some decoration right in front of the words. And I like to use my pen. To pick up the little pearls. Just need one more. So I, I put the glue just a little bit on there and then I can pick it right up. Put it right in the middle. Just like that. Put it in the middle of this one. There we are. And then I have some smaller pearls like these. Can you see those? Yeah, like those. And I'm going to lift them off and put them on this glue that I laid down right in front of the word. 
just like this. If you enjoy videos like this, please uh, touch the like button. That way my videos can get out. I am new at YouTube and I would so love to have you help me grow my channel. There we are. Aren't those adorable? Pull them down so you can see them. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.